Relationships are like farms, like when you don't water it or take care of it, unnecessary things tend to grow on it. Every kind of relationship requires nurturing for it to grow. The amount of time you give to your relationship will be seen on how good or bad that relationship is. If you saw the right seed in your relationship, you will reap the right seed. If you saw the wrong one, then you will reap the wrong one. There are so many things that can either make a relationship or mar it. It all depends on what you do. It is important to note that every relationship requires time and patience for it to grow to the level you want it to. Some things can break or even make your relationship and I will start with what can break your relationship. One of the things that can break your relationship is lack of trust. The absence of trust in any relationship can easily break the relationship. Lack of trust will make you suspect your partner even when he or she is not doing something wrong. Even our Lord Jesus Christ expects us to trust him, that us the same way you are expected to trust your partner. Lack of trust in any relationship that wasn't to thrive can cause a relationship breakdown. Trust is part of the foundation for a healthy relationship. Broken trust in relationships leads to depression, anxiety, and insecurity. The relationship can suffer from a lack of intimacy. A lack of trust in a relationship opens the door to a host of other problems, which, if left unresolved, may destroy whatever is left. Being in a relationship with another individual simply means that you trust that person, and so when the trust you have beings do deteriorate, then it may be a sign that your relationship is going down the pit. If you want your relationship to last and work out fine, then you must learn to trust if not, your relationship is on its way to breaking because lack of trust is one way to do that. Another thing that can break a relationship is dishonesty. When you choose to tell your partner lies instead of the truth. Remember, lying is of the devil and those who lie are children of the devil. Learn to be honest to your partner. Speak out your feelings in all honesty. If not, your relationship is on the verge of breaking. You should have the ability and courage to express how you feel. Is your partner doing something that is hurting you, but you're too scared to say it because it could trigger a fight? Is your significant other too reluctant to tell you how he feels because it's not manly to do so? Don't hesitate to open your heart and tell each other what's wrong. Communication is the key, remember? Dishonesty can be a force that will cause a break in your relationship. Whatever is sustained on lies cannot stand for long. Because lies do not have legs, the only thing you can stand on is the truth. The thing about dishonesty is it brings other problems along with it. When a partner notices you are dishonest, lack of trust begins to set in, and so many other things. Learn to open up and speak your mind, even if it is hard. Another factor can cause a break is pride. Remember the Bible says pride goes before a fall, and even God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. God loves a humble heart. When you are a proud person, you tend to feel like you are always right, and nobody can correct you which is a very dangerous way to live this life. Pride will make you not apologize to the other party even though you are wrong. You will prefer to hold on to what you believe to be true. And the thing is, you are not always right. Understand that you are human and it is our nature to make mistakes sometimes. When you are proud, you will be selfish too because you will only be looking out for your good. Even though you know the right thing to do, Pride will not allow you to do those things. Pride is one of the surest ways for a relationship to break. The truth is, nobody wants to be with a person who cannot be corrected because he or she always feel they are right. Let go of your pride today. If not, your relationship will suffer breaking. Another thing I would like to say has the capacity of breaking a relationship is lack of forgiveness and keeping malice. In any kind of relationship, we cannot avoid misunderstandings because our personalities and what have you just like the tongue and the teeth. Sometimes we mistakenly injure our tongue. This is the same way we tend to step on each other's toes at times. But what keeps us going is the ability to forgive one another and let the issue be bygone. Lack of forgiveness can cause strife 
and the Bible has warned us to avoid strife at all cost. When there is a lack of forgiveness in a relationship, that relationship can easily break. When you have someone who constantly reminds you of the wrong you have done them and makes you feel about it, then that relationship tends to break out. Jesus does not count our sins against us, so we shouldn't do that to others. If you want your relationship to flourish, you must learn to forgive and not keep malice. Moving on to things that can build or rather make a relationship, as stated early, if you want your relationship to blossom, then you must be ready to work. Just like a farmer attends to his farm, you must be ready to till the ground of your relationship. One of the things that can build a relationship is healthy communication. Communication removes any form of space for misunderstanding. You must know how to communicate well with your partner. Your partner does not know what is in your heart until you say. Don't think they will understand simply because you put up an attitude. Communicate from the biggest and most important issues to the one you think is trivial. Communicate how you feel, what you feel. Just learn to talk your true feelings out. In that way, you will build a healthy relationship that is void of misinterpretation. As with anything, open communication is necessary when it comes to building and maintaining a healthy relationship. When you are not comfortable with the thing, maybe it is how your partner spoke to you or what he or she did that you are not comfortable with. Learn to express your feelings to the person. It is only when you talk that someone gets to understand where you are coming from from someone said. Intentions until they are communicated. If you want a strong and well-built relationship, then you must learn to talk. Another important thing that can make a relationship is trust. Trust is a vital component for any relationship to grow. The truth is, you must learn just to be vulnerable in front of your partner. Don't hide things from the person since you love him or her. And to want to go all the way with this person, then you must learn to trust the person. I know that there are things you should learn to keep to yourself, because a wise person listens more and speaks less. But even at that, learn to trust your other figure. From your weaknesses to your mistakes and your strength, trust that he or she will not judge you because of your past and something you have done in the past besides the old has gone and the new has come. So learn to trust your partner to have a strong, healthy relationship. It is important to note that another thing you must learn to do for a relationship to grow is to learn to compromise or rather learn to make sacrifices. I am not saying you should begin to compromise your values or your faith, but you can compromise on some of your attitude and characters. You must understand that not everything will always be for you. This means that you must learn to be selfless, to put your partner first before you. Just like Jesus sacrificed his only son for the redemption of our sins because he loves us, that is the same way, if need be, you will sacrifice for the sake of your relationship. Learn that your opinion may not be the best option and give room for that. Another thing that can make a relationship is forgiveness. Without forgiveness, we wouldn't even be alive to have a relationship with God. If God does not constantly forgive us for our sin, we would have been sheep with a shepherd. In the Lord's Prayer, we learn that when we forgive others, Christ also forgives us of our sins. The thing about lack of forgiveness is that it opens the door for the activities of the enemy, and we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. He can come in any form and use anything to destroy you. See why you should never let a lack of forgiveness set foot into your relationship. When your partner hurts you, you open your mouth and speak to them, or if you wrong a person, learn to truthfully apologize and ask that the person forgive this will also attract God's forgiveness. Learn to forgive your partner if you want your relationship to grow. I pray that God will help you to least go the things that can destroy your relationship and learn the things that will make your relationship in Jesus' name, amen.